happy today. Uh, I'm just heading up to Kildale Moraine to pick up my Raymarine Quantum Radar Dome. They're uh, supplying that to me. Not free of charge, I'm buying it. <laughs> so we've now got a radar dome. Well, we've got a box with a big R on the side. Let's see what's inside. So there's the data cable and there's the radar dome. So today we're making a start on uh, a mount for the radar dome. Um, what we've got is a sheet of 18mm uh, marine ply and from that we'll make um, a mount which will go on the forepeak onto that flat area just where the uh, forward navigation light is that will have to be moved and that will stick out onto a finger which will have a little support underneath and then we'll bring uh, the little support up uh, onto uh, a, a top bed which the ray dome will fit on um, shipped loosely on Starship Enterprise that's the bottom finger that's the base for the ray dome that's a template of cut just to check the angle of the peak uh, and just refine it before we start to mark out the plywood. I'm not sure if you'll see this but I've marked out the two main components onto my sheet of uh, marine ply. So that's the that's the base piece. I can get one, two, three mounting bolts plus a hole to take the cabling through. And then here we have the uh, main pad for the ray dome. Limited tools available. Engineers need to be ambidextrous. Just making sure we're not putting the cat boxes. So after much cutting and sanding, we have this. So we've made this platform. Now it will need a little bit of support under the nose of it. Um, and it's only on temporary fixings at the moment at the back. Plus it's, uh, it's all got to be epoxied, all sides, every face, so it's all got to come apart. And there's the radar uh, installed. We've just done a temporary test uh, to make sure that uh, it doesn't interfere with any instruments, especially the compass, and it doesn't. Um, we have to uh, measure up for a forward support, which I thought, well, I knew we would. Um, and the uh, those fixings are just temporary fixings. I've got some... Uh, uh, eight mil bolts I think we'll use plus I've got a hole to bore through for for all the cabling uh, but uh, I think that's been a good day's construction 
And that's it from the side of the boat. Today's task is to take the radome back off. We fitted it last night and tested it. That all worked perfectly. Um, we have to drill, bore a hole straight through and straight through the peak for the cables to go through. Um, I've got to make a front support because it flexes, which I expected it would, um, for the uh, for underneath. Uh, fit the nav light to the front, and then uh, drill uh, the holes for the mounting screws, mounting bolts. So we only use bolts um, to the correct size, and then take it all off and take it all apart. So would you believe it? That's the Raymarine uh, data cable end, and that's the where I've got to put a hole through to uh, uh, to pass through the hull, and it measures 17. <laughs> I've got forcing a bit 16. <laughs> I think Mr. Dremel's coming out later. I just like that. There's a hole through. Measured the distance. We need a uh, piece, piece of wood about six inches uh, for the support at the front, um, and then we'll, we'll fit that into the uh, shape of the uh, uh, peak, and then cut it to exact length. And there's the finished article. All dry fit. So with the uh, running light mounted on. All we've got to do now is take it all apart, strip it down into its component parts and make some epoxy and get it uh, sealed. So that's everything broken down, ready to start uh, epoxying. It's a good hot day so I'm hoping I can get it all epoxied today and then I can reassemble tomorrow with uh, thickened epoxy on the joints and scre screwed and thickened epoxied. So we've got it all epoxied, put back together. It's to be painted yet but we're going to paint it in situ. Um, it's bolted down, that took some doing. The access is horrendous under the dash. It's up and through a gap, no bigger than my head. Getting my lugs stuck on wires. There was a staple stuck up which went into my neck. Oh, that was hard. But we've got all six bolts tightened up. Right, I know she's wood at the moment, but we will be painting it white to match the boat. And now I know why David put solar panels on, because they make a good footrest. And it's starting to rain. What are you doing it for? I'm oh, just levelling it up. Oops. It's pointing nose up slightly. It should be pointing nose down, so I'm just going to take the back, back bolts out. And feed some. Would you like me to hold your screwdriver or your spanner?
And there's our little kittikins asleep in Peppy's bed. Peppy's taken over the front bunk. So she just sprawls out in his little bed. Is that the sign of a good engineer? Everything by feel rather than sight. Yeah. <laughs> He's done it one side. He's now got to do it the other. So, if you like our videos, please do like, share, and subscribe to see more motor cruising on the race. And next week we'll actually switch this on and see how she performs. <laughs>